Welcome to Leon's Garage Adventures. Today we're removing a head stud from an LS that we were just putting the head on and it decided it Epsteined itself. So we're going to be using a couple different tools. We just went and picked up some left hand drill bits from Harbor Freight, $8. Extendo magnet. And the only small broken extractor that I have. Where might somebody find a non-broken extractor? Oh, I think I got those from Harbor Freight too. Shh. Top quality. Actually, it worked really good though, so I can't complain. All right, let's get started. So what we have here is an engine with a broke off stud. And the rest of it's down there. These head studs are really hard. We're gonna try to start with the smallest one first that we can get down in there with, make a little pilot hole, and then work our way up. Wish me luck. The reason we're using a left hand drill bit is so that hopefully the drill bit catches it and walks it back out instead of shoving it down further. So, yeah. I've been watching you drill into it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, well, he's the professional. I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur YouTube guy that doesn't make any money. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It's cutting it pretty good. Hmm. But I'm trying to be careful, so I'm going super s slow with it. Do you need a different light setup so that... <laughs> How? <laughs> because it looks like you could really do with two hands. Man, it's like an operation room now. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was getting... I seen a shaving fly. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be a hell again. God, oh, no. All I need to do is catch like one good time. using a small magnet to remove a bunch of the shavings that have come off of the end of the stud. Now going up to a larger drill bit size. We're hoping that it just grabs it and wants to back itself out. Uh, very impressed. You're cutting really good. If they didn't cut so good, they'd <laughs> grab it and pull that thing out. You're in line. Hey, come look at the shavings from that, just that one time. Yeah. Yeah, that's just from that one little time drilling. Those drill bits do work. Yeah, they're cut pretty good. But not for backing something out yet. Oh, it backed it out by a good eighth to quarter of an inch. Wow. It's insane to me that if we weren't trying to do this, it would do it on accident. Just, yeah. Walk it out. Let me see if I have an easy out. I have a broken one. And that's the one you're gonna use. So we got our assistant here today. But every time I ask for a tool, I can't carry it. You're fired. Oh. Anyways, we got the stud out. <laughs> Not using the Harbor Freight. Uh, no, it did. It did pretty good, actually. Let's take this thing off so we can show the... Show the people what they came here for. Yeah, let's show them... Let, uh, let's show them peoples. I mean, it made a good drill, Mark. Yeah, it actually was pretty deep. That's what she said. Yeah, so those are, these were $8 for all these. The little one was flexing a little bit, so we moved up to the next size, so, you know, to be cautious. But it drilled the hole nice, and then we, uh, it was walking it out the way that it was, but uh, I just decided to go get a broken easy out. 
I only had a broken one, leave me alone. So that's how you get a broken headset out. Am I in the camera? Ah. Ah.